Okay, I have here an example. Uh, if mu is equal to 980 kilonewton meter, we are to determine the still area required for the section shown in the figure. Should compression still be required, we are to assume that it will be placed 70 mm from the compression phase and given din yung capacity ng concrete at saka nung, ano, nung steel, 21 megapascal at saka 420 megapascal respectively. And of course, the modulus of elasticity of steel which is 200 megapascal. Okay, so we are to compute for the steel area and we don't know for sure if this is doubly reinforced, di ba? So in solving, okay, uh, we will first assume that this is singular in force. So, paano ba yung, how, how do we solve this? Okay, so, ano ba yung step 1? Step 1 natin is to solve for the value of A. So, again, our assumption here is that this is SRB, singular in force beam, at saka yung value ng P natin is equal to 0 0.9. Okay? So, we are assuming, we are, uh, these are our assumptions. Okay, so to solve for the value of A, you cannot use your equation, which is T is equal to C, because uh, this, this is equal to ES multiplied by FY is equal to 0 0.85 FC prime AB. You cannot use this because unang una, you don't have the value of ES. In fact, yun yung pinapahanap sa problem. And we are solving for the value of A. So dalawa yung unknown mo. You cannot use this formula. Okay, so what you can use here is the formula for MN. Since MN man yung... yung since MN yung, uh, although it's not given, but the given is MU, you can solve for the value of MN. So we'll use the formula for MN. Take note, we cannot use also the value of MN, which is T multiplied by D minus A over 2. Because nga, we don't have the value for, for I know, for but your T is equal to ES, FY. You don't have the value for ES. So you cannot use this equation. Okay, so what you can use instead, you can use the value for the equation for C. I mean, the formula for C. But since this is mn, this is equal to c multiplied by d minus a over 2, okay? Where your mn is actually equal to mu over the phi. This is equal to your c naman. This is 0 0.85 fc prime ab multiplied by d minus a over 2, okay? Your mu is 980 kilonewton meter or that is in, you have to multiply this by 10 raised to 6, all over, we will assume again, huh? this is just an assumption, this is 0 0.9, later we will check, okay? 0 0.9, this is equal to 0 0.85, FC prime is 21, your A is the unknown, your B is equal to 350, and your D is 700 minus A, which is unknown, over 2. Okay, so everything is given here, you can solve for the value of your A. Um, 323.95. This is 323.95. This is 323.95 mm. Okay. And second step, diba? step number two is to check your assumption. But before we do that, let us first solve for the value of C. Kasi C yung gagamitin natin in checking for those assumptions. Okay, your C here is equal to ano ba yun? A over beta 1, diba? This is this equi this relationship is from the equation a is equal to beta one times c. So if you say your c is equal to a over beta one, okay? Where your beta one, take note your beta one is equal to zero point eighty five. This is for f c prime equal. I mean, less than or equal to twenty eight megapascal. At saka yung beta one mo naman is equal to zero point sixty five. If your f c prime is greater than or equal uh, 55, right? greater than or equal to 55. So obviously, since your FC prime is 21, you will be using 0 0.85. So this is equal to, two, I mean, 323. This is equal to 323.95 all over the beta one, which is 0 0.85. Your C therefore is equal to, what is that? The result is 381.11, 381.11. This is in mm. Okay, this is your value for C. So step number two, you have to check. Paano natin ito check? You compute for the value of your C max. Okay, ano ba yung assumption natin again? Your assumption is, is RB siya, saka yung, yung P mo is 0 0.9. Okay, so to check those assumptions, let us solve for the value of your C max first. This is 3 over 7 multiplied by D. But multiplied by D, your D is equal to 700. So your C max 
your Cmax therefore is equal to, yun ba yan? 300 mm. Di ba? This is your Cmax. And obviously, your C exceeds Cmax. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya singly reinforced beam. Okay, since your Cmax is greater than your, I mean, your C is greater than your Cmax, then we have to solve this problem as doubly reinforced beam. Okay? So, how do we do that? Okay. You continue your solution. Uh, let me erase this one. Okay, so how do we uh, how do we continue this? Oh, we are we know now that this is doubly reinforced. Okay, so what we can do with the C max, we impose natin siya in solving for the value of your maximum moment, maximum nominal moment. Kung singly reinforced siya. Okay, so we will solve for the maximum moment. We will be using yung formula ng MN, which is equal to ano ba yun? 0.85 FC prime AB multiplied by D minus A over 2. Okay? You have your 0.85. Your FC prime is equal to 21. Your A, yung A na gagamitin mo is coming from this C. Diba? You can solve for the value of A. A is equal to beta 1 C. Your C max yung gagamitin mo. This is therefore equal to, ilan ba yan? 0.85 times 300 yung C max mo. And that is equal to 255. This is 255 mm. Yun yung gagamitin mo here. Okay? Yun yung isa substitute mo dito. That is 255 multiplied by B. Your B is 350. This is multiplied by your D is 700 minus A which is 255 over 2. Diba? So, you can solve for the value of your MN. This is actually your MN max because you are using the value for C max, right? So, you can solve the value of your MN max. Your MN max is equal to 0 0.8. And this is equal to, ilan ba yan? Uh, in terms of kilonewton meter, that is 912,057. This is in kilonewton meter. This is the value for your M MN max. Ibig sabihin, this is the maximum moment na kayang i-carry ng section mo kung singly reinforced lang siya. Again, this is the maximum moment na kayang i-carry ng section mo kung singly reinforced lang siya. Okay? And also, taking into consideration that your steel bar should yield. Okay? Dapat tension controlled siya. Kaya yung MN max mo is only 912.057. Now, what will happen? Eh, kasi sabi sa problem, dapat yung makikary niya is 980 MU. Okay, let us first compute pala yung MN dito. Okay? Because we will compare yung MN mo, MU kasi yung given, we will compare your MN here to your MN max. Okay? Uh, we... We already know that your MN will exceed yung MN max kasi nga yung C max mo, di ba? Uh, yung C max mo kasi is lower than your actual C. Ibig sabihin, yung MN nito will definitely exceed the value of your MN max. Okay? But we need to solve it because we need to compare it here. Kung ilan ba, we need to identify kung ilan ba yung excess. Okay? So, we will solve for the value of your MN. This is equal to MU over the reduction factor. Your MU is equal to 980 kilonewton meter. Yung gagamitin mong fee here, okay, ano ba yung gagamitin natin na fee? Okay, before you, uh, uh, okay, ano ba yung gagamitin natin na fee? Di ba yung Cmax yung ginamit natin? Okay, uh, you have the value of your Cmax. You can solve for the value of your Fs, di ba? Fs here is equal to 600 D minus uh, C over C. Pag ginamit mo yung Cmax mo, your FS here is equal to, I think that is 800 megapascal. Okay, so we'll try to solve for the value of your FS. This is 600 multiplied by, uh, ano ba yan? D, your D is, ano yung, 700, di ba yung D? That is 700 minus C, your C is, yung C max mo. The value of C, your C max is 300, all over 300. Okay, your FS therefore is equal to 800. Diba? 800. So, 800 siya. Actually, this is always 800. Kasi, your C max is based on the assumption that your strain is equal to 0 
Di ba, pag yung strain is 0.004, that translate to F is equal to 800 megapascal. Okay? So, 800 megapascal siya. So, anong gagamitin natin na reduction factor? Di ba, uh, as I have uh, discussed in the last, ano, in the last video, sabi natin doon, you, uh, if your Fs is uh, less than or equal to your Fy, your reduction factor is equal to 0.65. Diba yun yun? But if your Fs is, equal, is greater than or equal to 1,000, your reduction factor is equal to 0.9. Yan. Diba? Ito yung ano natin. This is your value for your fee. So, since your Fs is equal to 800, we have to interpolate. Diba? 800 kasi is somewhere in between FY and 1,000. So, we will interpolate for the value of your fee. You can go to your calculator. You can go to mode 32. Okay, you can go to mode 32. Sa X, yung ilalagay mo dyan are the value of your FS. At saka sa Y naman, yung ilalagay mo dyan are the value of your reduction factor. Okay, so we can put here sa X, yung una is the value of your FY, which is 420. Okay, pag your, your F S daw is equal to 420 or is equal to FY, your reduction factor is 0 0.65 daw. Okay. At saka, if your FS daw is 1,000, the value of your ano, reduction factor is 0 0.9. Okay. You press AC. You go to your apps uh, regression. Uh, since yung hinahanap natin is the value of your fee, so, that is on the y, ano, y column, di ba? Nasa y column sa. So, that is y hat when your fs is equal to 800. So, 800 y hat. So, the value of your reduction factor is 0 0.8137 or uh, let's use at up to three decimal places. Okay, 0 0.814. Let me put it here. This is equal to 0 0.814. Okay, so your m and therefore is equal to the value of your MN. Your MN is 980 over 0 0.814. 980 over 0 0.814, the value is 1,203.93. 1,203.93. This is in um, kilonewton meter. Okay. So, obviously, okay, yung MN max mo, Diba? Again, ha? MN max is the maximum capacity of the of the section if it is singly reinforced. E sabi sa problem, kailangan daw makakarry siya ng 1,203.93. E yung capacity mo lang to ensure ductile failure is 912.057. Diba? So, there is uh, a discrepancy. The difference between the two, kasi yung MN max mo dito is actually, let's go back, ha? Your MN max doon is actually your MN1. That is the capacity of the beam, the maximum capacity of the beam if it is singly reinforced. Ibig sabihin, wala pang reinforcement sa taas. ba? That's your capacity. Okay. So, since it is uh, your MN, your actual MN, na required ng problem is greater than your MN max, ibig sabihin, may difference between sa dalawa. ba? If we try to determine that difference, Okay, so your MN is actually, uh, the, your MN, this one, this is the capacity that your beam should carry, okay? Which is 1,203.93. Okay, so this is actually equal to, ano yun, di ba? MN is equal to MN1 plus MN2. This is taken from the formula here, di ba? MN is equal to MN1 plus MN2. Okay, so your MN, MN here, this one, this is 1203.93. This is in kilonewton meter. Your MN1 naman, this is the capacity if singular reinforced. The maximum capacity kung singular reinforced lang siya. This is 912.057. Diba? Plus MN2. The difference between the two is actually equal to your MN2. MN2 therefore is equal to, uh, alam ba yan? Uh, let's go to mode 1. You have there 1203.93 minus 912.057 so the MN2 is 291.873 this is in kilonewton meter so ibig sabihin this magnitude the magnitude of your M2 that's the additional moment that your beam should carry okay saan ba magagaling dyan 
you cannot increase the area of the ano anymore you you should not increase the area of the concrete anymore so what you do is you ha, you add reinforcement at the top and of course at the bottom okay kag kukunin natin yung reinforcement na yon using this ano this uh moment mn2 so how do we do that take note that your mn2 is equal to cs multiplied by d minus d prime at chak or that is ts1 uh multiplied by d minus d prime let us use this first in solving for the value of your mn i mean for in solving for the value of your es okay so we will equate yung mn2 natin to ano ba yun c c s multiplied by d minus d prime take note that your mn2 is equal to 291.873 of course times 10 raised to 6 para newton mm siya Okay, and your CS is equal to your AS prime, prime to denote compression, multiplied by FS prime, multiplied by your D, D is equal to 700 minus D prime, which is 70. Okay, so before you can solve for the value of your ES prime, you need first to solve for the value of your FS prime. Okay, so how do we solve FS prime? Diba, FS prime is equal to 600 multiplied by C minus D prime over C. But this is the formula for F is prime. This is equal to 600 multiplied by C. Yung C na gagamitin natin dito is yung C max. Diba? That is your C na gagamitin. Your C is equal to 300. Your D prime is 70 over 300. Yan. So your F S prime therefore is equal to ilan ba yan? That is 600 multiplied by your C is 300. Minus 70 all over um, 300. So the result, the value of your FS is equal to 460. Okay, 460 megapascal. Again, you should not automatically substitute it here, ha? Sabi, your FS is limited only to the value of FY. Okay? Okay, ibig sabihin lang dito, nag-yield yung compression reinforcement. So we will replace your FS prime here by Fy. Fy yung gagamitin natin. So, in solving for the value of your ES prime, your ES prime is equal to, ilan ba yun? This will be equal to 291.873 times 10 raised to 6 all over the result is uh, your ES prime is equal to 1,103 0.073 This is in mm squared kasi area siya. So this is the value of your AS prime, okay? Ito na yung AS prime. Yung pinapahanap kasi sa problem is to determine the steel area required for the section. Since this is doubly reinforced, meron kang AS prime, the area in compression, which is this one, 1103.073, and of course, you also need to solve for the value of your AS, okay? So, yung ES prime at yung ES yung hinahanap natin. Ano ba yung ES? Okay. Yung ES prime natin is the area of the steel reinforcement in compression. Yung ES natin is the total area. Okay. Your ES. Your ES is the total area of the steel reinforcement. Okay. In tension. Which is equal to, this is equal to ES1. Yung steel reinforcement na ginamit sa, sa TS1. Plus, the ES2, yung tension reinforcement na ginamit sa TS2, di ba? So, this is your value for ES, for ES. That is ES1 plus ES2. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so, um, how do we solve for the value of your ES1? Yung ES1 lang muna. So, let me erase this. How do we solve for ES? Okay, so how do we solve for the value of our ES? The total, ano? The total area. Okay? Diba? Sabi dito, your AS is just equal to your AS1 plus AS2. Let us first solve for the value of your AS1. So, paano ba natin sinasolve yung AS1? Okay? You can you can use the ano? You can use this relationship. Your TS1 is just equal to CC, diba? You can use the fact that these two are equal because they are in state of equilibrium. So, you can see CC is equal to TS1. Diba? Your CC is equal to 0 0.85 FC prime 
AB, this is equal to your TS1 naman, this is AS1 multiplied by FY. Y yung gagamitin natin because C max yung gagamitin natin dito, di ba? Uh, pag C max yung gamitin natin, we are sure enough na yung tension reinforcement will yield. Okay? Kaya nga C max yung, kaya nga nilimit lang natin sa C max para sure na mag yield yung tension reinforcement. So, if Y yung gagamitin natin dito. Okay? And in fact, if you want to, if you try to solve for the value of your FS, di ba? Kung gusto mong isolve yung value ng FS mo, this is 600 um, D minus C over C, where C yung gagamitin mo dito, yung C max, yung FS mo will be equal to 800 megapascal, which is way beyond your FY na 420. Di ba? So, FY talaga yung gagamitin natin dito. Okay? Erase this. Okay, now, uh, yung A na gagamitin mo is your A na sinold mo using your C max, that is 255. So, this will be 0 0.85 FC prime, which is 21, multiplied by A, which is 255, multiplied by B, which is 350, and this is equal to your AS1, the unknown, multiplied by FY, which is 420. Your AS1, therefore, is equal to ilan ba yan? That is 0 0.85. Let's see. The result is, oh, the result for AS1 is 3793. 3793.121. This is 125 pala. 125. This is in mm. Okay, this is in mm squared. This is your value for AS1. Okay, next naman, we are to solve for the value of your AS2. How do we solve for ES2? We will use the relationship between CS and TS2. We will use the fact that these two are equal. Okay? So we can say your CS or the compression uh, force from the steel. This is equal to TS2. So your CS here is equal to AS prime multiplied by FY. FY yung gagamitin natin, di ba? Because we already have solved the value of your FS prime. Fs prime is 460, it's beyond 420 na value ng Fy. So, Fy yung gagamitin natin. Take note, you cannot, your stress should not exceed Fy. That's why, uh, kung mag-exceed yung Fs mo ng Fy, Fy yung gagamitin natin in solving. This is equal to, your Ts is just equal to As2 multiplied by Fy again. Take note na, nag-yield siya, di ba? Kasi si Max nga yung ginamit natin, di ba? In solving for the value of Fs. Okay, it will just yield Fs equal to 800, which is way beyond Fy. So, Fy yung gagamitin natin. So, parehas pala silang Fy, this will cancel out. Ibig sabihin, yung As2 mo is just equal to As prime, diba? which is equal to 1103.073 mm squared. So, this is your value for your As, AS2. AS2. Okay, so to solve for the value of your AS, that's just equal to, yun na yun, di ba? Nakasulat na dito. To solve for the value of your AS, that is equal to AS1 plus AS2. This is equal to your AS1 is 3793.125 plus your AS2 is 1103.073. This is in mm. Okay, so your AS is therefore equal to the sum of the two. Diba? Ano ba yun? 3793.125. 3793.125 plus 1103.073. This is equal to 4896. 4896.198. This is in mm squared. This is now your final answer. So, dalawa yung final answer mo ha. Your AS and your AS prime.